Which of the following is credited for the theory in the adjoining figure? Now what we see in this figure here is that there is a pyramid and there are various stages to the pyramid or there are various levels in the pyramid, right? And each level consists of a certain need, okay? So this is basically the hierarchy of needs. That was put forward by Abraham Maslow in the year 1943. So in his paper that was named as the theory of human motivation. Okay, he gave this paper in the year 1943. Now according to him, what he said was during the periods of growth and development, the personality of a person is going to rely on certain needs, okay? that have priority and motivations. So the motivations and needs are what are going to play a crucial role in the development of personality. Okay. And all these needs or motivations are not kept at the same level. Rather, there's a hierarchy. Okay. So there is the most basic of physiological needs that a person must have in order to thrive. And then as you progress uh, higher and higher in the hierarchy or in the pyramid of needs, you'll see that these uh, needs become more and more intellectual. Okay. So what you see is in the first level, that is the most basic level are the physiological needs. Okay. They are the most basic needs because these are needs without which the person will not survive or thrive. Okay. So the basic needs are food, water, uh, clean air, right? Clothing. So all the basic necessities which are required for the person to exist right? Without which the person may have certain diseases, illnesses, discomfort, pain. Uh, the person will not be able to thrive. They may even die if these basic needs are not met, right? If the person doesn't have food, the person is starving, right? So these are going to uh, hamper his development or growth. So these are the basic or the physiological needs, which are the utmost necessity, okay? It is only if these needs are fulfilled that the person can go to the next level, Till these basic needs are not met, all of the person's energy is going to be directed towards satisfying these needs. Okay, so these are the most crucial or the most basic of needs that a person requires to uh, live or thrive. Next step is the safety need. So once all the basic physiological needs have been met, right, then we come to safety. This uh, involves both physical as well as psychological safety. Now, during the period of growth, children usually feel afraid, okay, more afraid than adults. So, there's a lot of fear that comes with development or fear of the unknown or children who are very curious, right? So, at this point, it's very important for the parents or the guardians of these children to ensure there is safety and security in a home. Okay, this is both physical as well as psychological safety because the child can be subjected to some amount of physical or psychological abuse, right, during this stage if his fears are not assured. This again is going to uh, have an impact on his development or his growth, right, this can uh, impact his physical as well as psychological development. So this is the next set of needs. After this comes the psychological needs, right? That is, once the basic needs have been met, we come to the need of being loved or the feeling of belonging. So this is more of a social need, right? The feeling of belonging is something that is more social because we want to feel like we are part of a group. We want to feel affection from our parents or our friends or any other loved ones. We want to, you know, uh, receive this love and also give this love. This gives us a sense of belonging. If this is not present, so this again is a very crucial element. If this is not present, this can lead to the uh, feeling of, uh, you know, being isolated, which again is going to have an impact on his psychological development, right? So this again is important. Once this is met, then we come to something known as esteem needs, right? So this includes self-respect, uh, self-esteem, which needs to be met because if these uh, needs are not met of self-respect and self-esteem, we will see that the person becomes very underconfident or has a low self-esteem, does not have the confidence to pursue anything, is always afraid, okay? So he will not be able to succeed if he is not more confident or competent or outgoing in order to achieve these things or achieve what he has set his mind to do. So in order to achieve this, that 
person needs to have self esteem or self respect so that, that again is a very important factor in order to succeed and it's only finally that is at the top of the hierarchy is something known as self actualization so this is according to maslow something that a very small group of people actually reach because all these other needs need to be met which may not always be the case right so it's only when all of the other needs are met will the person reach the stage where he has this feeling of self actualization that is the person will be so indulged in finding their passion or their mission in life okay so this is what the hierarchy of needs is which was given by maslow in some textbooks it is written as maslow which is not correct okay so this maslow is not correct it was given by abraham maslow now these uh, theories of child psychology and the theories of uh, uh, social learning etc are very important from exam point of view so they could ask you any kind of question here they could ask you regarding a particular theory they could ask you who gave it they could ask you in which year they could also ask you what the clinical repercussions of these theories are or what the dental applications of these theories are they could also ask you any question regarding the stages of some particular theory for example they could ask you uh, according to the gene piaget's uh, stages of cognitive development they could probably ask you the age range of a particular stage okay so these are some of the kind of questions that you can expect from this topic